Hi. Today we are going to talk about a Russian author. When we say about a Russian author, the first two names that come into our minds are either Leo Tolstoy or Maxim Gorky. However, today we are not going to talk about any of them. Our person for today is Mikhail Sholokov. He is a Nobel laureate from Russia and he was awarded the Nobel in 1965. His Nobel was awarded mainly for his 20th century epic novel and Quiet Flows the Dawn. This book was written in four volumes and it deals with the lives of the Don Cossacks prior to the First World War, during the First World War and the Great Russian Revolution and the subsequent Civil War when the Bolsheviks fought the White Russians in the banks of the Don River. Mikhail Sholokov was born in that region in 1905 and has lived in that region and participated in the civil war as a young man and he was in the side of the Bolsheviks fighting with the white Russians. His experiences of chasing the white Cossacks across the Don banks has been part of his immortal writing. And Quiet Flows the Dawn deals with the Don Cossacks and we have to little bit digress here to understand who are the Don Cossacks. Don is one of the top five rivers of Russia and the Cossacks are indigenous independent people living in Russia on the banks of the river Don. They led a very carefree gay life full of adventure for a long period of maybe 250 years and then slowly they were integrated into the Russian Empire. The main protagonist of the book is Gregory Melikov and it deals with his adventures and the lives of his family and the, surround and the surrounding members of his village before the First World War during the first world war when he served as a officer young Cossack officer in the russian cavalry in the imperial russian army and in 1917 when the first great revolution of russia took place he joined the bolsheviks initially and fought the white russians later on he shifted sides and this is his entire tale Mikhail Sholokov living in this particular era in the banks of Don has been part of the civil war, civil war and the fights that ensured in the banks of Don. He has depicted his own experiences in this book in, uh, in the, in the, and in the different volumes of this book. Having written this book and finishing this book he had again joined the Soviet CP, the Communist Party of Soviet Union in 1930 and then during the Great War, that is the Second World War, he served as a war correspondent and later on he has moved to other writings. Another famous book of his is the title Virgin Soil Upturned. This book was written in the era of 1930s when the farms on the banks of Don River was being slowly brought into collective farming system in the Soviet Union. During this period also there was a lot of tension. People were, people were always not willingly, uh, willingly giving their lands away for collectivization and Mikhail Sholokov has taken great pains to pictureize this particular era in his book virgin soil upturned. My introduction to and quiet flows the dawn is at a relatively early age when I heard a small radio play. At that point of time I never knew that the book had four volumes. Later on in the 80s I went to buy that 
particular a particular uh, masterpiece and found that it comprises of four volumes so i i used to own those four volumes but somehow unfortunately with the passage of time i have misplaced all the four volumes and today i still regret why i do not have a volume of course i have virgin soil upturned which is a book in two volumes and that is also equally good reading mikhail sholokovs had not been entirely controversy free there was always a charge of pleasurism for and quiet flows the dawn because the first volume was written when he was around 22 years of age and there were allegations uh, allegations that a 22 year old boy cannot use a book in that refined uh, refined uh, language which he used in this uh, in, the, in this particular volume later on he has given this uh, given the investigation to pravda newspaper and pravda after doing their own investigations and study has uh, with uh, has uh, exonerated him and his work has been acknowledged by the nobel committee in 1965 when he was awarded the nobel prize for literature as the third russian out of the five russians who have all, who have got the nobel the prestigious nobel prize for literature i would strongly urge all of you to read and quiet flows the dawn as it is one of the epics of the 20th century and it has been compared with leo tolstoy's war and peace virgin soil upturned also makes very good reading and it takes us back to the era which is already bygone the soviet era of revolution and collective farming and how the soviet system was implemented over a period of many years so i i think both of them would be would be making good reading so let us see once you read those books and how how do you like do let me know and thank you for listening to me patiently and we will see you soon